观众朋友好，欢迎收看最新一期的《紫天访谈录》SD Talk Show， 我是紫天 Skydo。Hi Dennis. Hi, how are you, Sky? Really good. Thank you for joining me today. No problem, Mo. Can you introduce yourself to our Southern News audience? I'm Dennis Labridge, and I'm owner of C and D Scrap Metal, celebrating 42 years this year in in business. Have 52 years of business in the recycling industry, and、uh, that's what we do here.、Mm, how is your business recently? Business is incredible right now.、Mm. Um, it was a little bit tough through the COVID situation, but things are recovering and. We're busy, and the prices of metal are going up. So right now, we all have a smile on our face. Hmm, good, perfect. Can you talk about why you choose this industry? Well, I was brought up in it. My father was in the business, and、um, it's all I knew.、Mm. And I didn't graduate high school because I didn't understand what they were talking about.、Mm. And I quit school in the 11th grade. And I got married back in 1979, and I was working for another scrap metal facility, and decided I wanted to go in business for myself. And that was December of 1979. And my dad actually came to work for me six years later, and he was with me for 17 years.、Oh. And、um, he passed away four years ago, January, at 96 years old. And、uh, he's the one that got me in, interested in the business.、Mm, so, so far, how do you like it?、Um, I'm I'm getting older, <laughs> and I'm not wanting to work as hard.、Uh, we have a、uh, 40 some odd employees here, and I'm only here part time right now, just to kind of aggravate all my employees. But I enjoy it. It's just I'm getting older, and the hustle and bustle is getting、mm. pretty tough for me these days. Okay. And it's kind of time to relax a little、yes. bit.、Mm. My goal is、um, I wanted my children to take over the company.、Mm. Uh, my daughter and son-in-law are here running it for me with their mother, who is my business partner.、Um, my son is no longer with us, unfortunately. He chose another path of business. And my goal right now is either to stay in business and let my kids take it over,、mm. or、um, sell it. But I'm getting to the point where it's time for me to retire and start enjoying my life,、mm. resting in the sun and the beach in Florida, and、oh, not having all、yeah. the stress and all the issues with equipment breaking down and employees. Being happy and sad, and doing everything that you know we can do to make them happy, and it's time just to、mm. settle down a little bit and relax. So、mm. I'm ready. Not sure when it's going to be. It was supposed to be last August, and we welcomed COVID-19 into our world, and that kind of put me behind a little bit. But I'm heading in that direction.、Mm. Can you talk about the two-dollar bill story? Why two-dollar bill? Well, growing up, my mother used to tell me that two-dollar bills were bad luck, bad and luck. and bad luck. And so you didn't see a lot of two-dollar bills back、yeah. in the day. And when I opened up the business, I guess we were in business about fifteen or eighteen years, and I decided to take dollar bills out of the equation. So each customer is going to get paid every time with either one or two two-dollar bills in their in their financial transaction, and we use no dollar bills. We only use the gold dollar coins, or, and we just leave all the one dollars out of the equation. And so here we pay in two-dollar bills, and I market it and I promote it, and I even have a registered trademark that we pay in two-dollar bills in our industry. Some people like them and some don't. The majority of them want them,、mm. and the ones that don't end up getting、uh, dollar coins instead of two dollar bills. But most, mostly, people enjoy getting them. Yeah, the two dollar bill, what can buy?、Um, not much these days. <laughs> I know it's worth two dollars. That's about it.、Um, it was just something to just something different, and、um, I took off with it, and it's just been an incredible. A marketing tool for us, and so we are known in the fourth largest city in the United States as the two dollar bill man, the two dollar bill company, and that's what we do now is market that two dollar bill. And、yeah. we do a lot of radio and television advertisement.、Mm -hmm. We do billboards. 
We do newspaper ads. Um, we've been a sponsor with the Houston Rockets for nine seasons. Wow. And we're, we're a sponsor with the Dynamo for several seasons, the soccer team. Um, the Houston Astros, we were there uh, eight or ten years off and on, but two different contracts. Yeah. And um, just try to support our local teams and mm. let them know that, you know, that our local advertisers and mm. the smaller businesses are more important these days than the big business, mm. the big business name. So we want to support our own city, and I'm a native Houstonian. Mm. I've been on this earth for over 66 years. I know I don't wow. look older than 35 or 40, but that's what we do, and, yeah. you know, we enjoy it. Mm, I appreciate it. What do your company buy? We buy all non-ferrous and ferrous metals, which would be aluminum, copper, brass, stainless steel, mm. um, Inconel, Monels, Hastelloy, which are considered nickel alloys. And our ferrous business consists of anything made of iron that's magnetic, like automobiles and mm. appliances and beams and steel and mm. tin and galvanized. And mm. that's our other portion of our business. And we move about a thousand tons every single week out, wow. of this, out of this facility here. Okay, I also heard about you do a lot of business with China. China, I love China. I've been there over 25 times. Um, I haven't been there in a while, unfortunately. And we used to do a tremendous amount of business in China. Mm -hmm. I would ship several hundred containers annually. And of course, uh, in the past few years, it slowed down because I think China has semi-slowed down. They had issues here, uh, evidently, with our old president but they're trying to clean their country up and, and kind of get the pollution out of there and yeah. which we have no issues with we we respect them for that and we do ship to them and just not as many quantities of metals at a time because they either want a red metal or a white metal so containers that used to go out with 25 or 30 different types of metal mm -hmm. are only allowed to go out now with one type of metal Oh, okay. Or one color of metal. Yeah. And it must be clean. They don't want dirty anything that they're going to have to um, clean up and make pollution in, in their country, which we give them utmost respect for that. Mm. I also know you are a celebrity with a Chinese friends, Yao Ming. Yao Ming. He's yeah. a, um, I, I used to hang with him when he was with the Rockets um, and also met him through a mutual friend. I've been to his house in Shanghai. He spent a few days at my lake house here in Texas. Um, I don't talk to him as much as I used to. I was with him in Shanghai, I guess seven years, six or seven years ago. Um, and that's how I ran across him and kind of became acquaintances through a mutual friend that him and I both had. Mm, okay. So. I heard about your office, it's like a museum. You have so many pictures with a celebrity. Do you want to show me, show our audience? Yeah, we can walk around. We have, um, there's about three or 400 pieces, so I don't think we'll get to all of them, but I've run across a lot of people in my career, and we have um, autographed guitars and baseball bats. Mm. We have bobbleheads. We have hockey pucks. We have tennis balls. We have baseballs. We have baseball jerseys. We have football jerseys, basketball jerseys, and everything that we have, I've gotten signed and framed and displaying it um, very nicely in our office here. Mm, okay, let's go to take a look. Let's do it. I collect all this memorabilia here, um, autographed by the Astros. We have okay. had it, we have um, Jose Altuve. It's funny, I have this autograph because when I was sponsoring the Astros, oh, okay. we had a billboard in left center field. And wow. so I saw my name on the billboard and decided I want to buy this particular piece because it has our <laughs> name. Well, uh, Roger Clemens, when he was with the Astros in Toronto. Um, Craig Biggio and Berkman, when they were with the Astros, Bagwell, we've got baseball signed by President Bush, mm. uh, Roger Clemens, uh, you name it, we got them here. And one of the finest ball players that the Astros and the Rockets ever had on our team was me. Wow. And that's my jersey with my name and my number wow. 
my name and my number. Wow. And um, actually, I'm really not wow. the best player that they ever had. Yes, but, you're awesome. But we have those um, going through the office here. Okay. Um, I've also spent uh, about 40, um, about 40 plus years volunteering uh, with the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Um, I don't do it. I'm retired uh, lifetime committee member now, and I keep everything framed on all the years. And these are all my badges from the rodeo. Yeah. This is Mike Tyson giving an autograph wow. and signing my my jersey. And Milo Hamilton was an announcer um, for baseball many, many, many years. One of the most famous baseball announcers. Mm. A good friend of mine, uh, Matumbo, Dikembe oh, okay. Matumbo, that was with the Rockets. Mm. And John Cena, I think he's a boxer or a wrestler. I actually don't know who he is. I just know he was famous. <laughs> um, we have, I have Robert Hershercheck, I think is his name. Mm. He's from Shark Tank. Jimmy, Spring, uh, Jimmy um, I can't think of how to pronounce his name, but very famous um, um, guy that did uh, Jimmy... God, I hope I don't know his name, but either way, he's famous. Whoever sees yeah, him may know him. Bill. And Snoop Dogg, I was with him. He did a little commercial for me, and he's holding up his $2 bills as well. And we have uh, Tracy McGrady and, and oh, Steve Tracy. Nash, and these were all star. These were all all star jerseys here. Yeah, okay. He just do a live show for selling his house. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen McGrady in a long time. Not since he has since the Rockets. Mm. Um, I have guitars uh, that are autographed. I have Carrie Underwood. I have Vince Gill, and I have wow. an entire uh, slew here of um, autograph with Gary Allen, the Eli Young Band, and all these other uh, players. I have a Willie Nelson one in my office. Mm. Very proud to have those hanging. Wow. Um, I was honored to be able to sit at the Astros game with President Bush, mm. 41, and Barbara. Oh, okay. Oh, the President And so, of Bush. course, I had her sign a $2 bill. Wow. And I sat and ate her frozen drink with her. Yeah. Um, we have over on this side. I've got two dollar bill. I have uh, Anna Montana back in the day, autographed guitar, right here, which is kind of cool. My, my daughter had to have, which I would love to sell. I'd like to sell all of this memorabilia, honestly. I have the um, the World Series, the first World Series that the Astros were in when I attended that game. We didn't do so well. I have. Um, the Texans were a season ticket holder at both, but the Texans, when they opened up at the NRG for the first time, mm. I have Minute Maid here. Before it was Minute Maid, it was Enron Field, which is a very famous uh, defunct company now, was Enron, that's now been turned over to Minute Maid. Um, I went to the All-Star game with Yao Ming and Andy Yao in, in New Orleans, and mm. I got this picked up here. Mm. I've got the shoes. plenty of shoes here. I have Yao Ming's shoes. Wow. I have Trace, Paul Pierce, Shaq O'Neal. He's the biggest with a size 22. Wow. I have Dikembe. He's got a size 20. Mm. Shane Battier. Um, we collect anything. Mm. You know, I'll show you something pretty good here. Okay. Let's do this. Wow. Let's take this down a minute. Just let's see what this. Sister. Let's put your foot over here <laughs> and let's just see the difference. Okay. On your left foot. Okay. To give you an idea. <laughs> Shaq O'Neal's got a very large <laughs> shoe. It's a size 22. It actually comes one shoe per box. So he, wow. I also have surprised? another set of his shoes at my home. Got a, my biggest stuff is at my house. This is all the stuff that just kind of sits here at the office. And I had someone sell me all this rocket memorabilia when I was involved. They were making a room into, they were having a baby and they didn't need this stuff anymore. But this is from when they won the championship in 1994 and 95. And I have um, this, one of our one of my best yeah. ones here in Yao Ming. Mm. And yeah, he is that tall. Yeah. He's um, seven foot six. 
Seven foot six. And I'm six foot nine, actually six seven, five seven. I'm really five <laughs> seven. But he's a big guy. I got a few more. I got bobbleheads. These are these bobbleheads of Tracy McGrady and Yao Ming, or Tra Tracy and, and Yao. Mm. When I got these, those two guys had no idea that they made these. The NBA made them, and I. It looked like they were laying in a casket in a yeah. in a grave when they saw them. But they autographed the hats, they autographed the bobblehead, and it's a real bobblehead. So wow. pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh. My granddaughter stood up to him. She's about this tall at the time. Okay. Also have the signature. All of, everything's got signatures. Yeah. I do have one fake signature, and I'll show it to see if you know who it is. Uh, more basketball and baseball. Roger Staubach, Clutch, was the mascot for the Rockets. You are the big fans of the basketball. Yeah, he's... Um, yeah. And Dikembe, oh. of course, I told you, is also a friend of mine, and he did commercials for us. Terry Bradshaw, Shaq O'Neal, Derwin Nowinski, Wade... Here's Yao and Yee's jersey, right here, which is kind of cool. Mm. They played very, yeah. very um, short season together, but it's kind of cool. Mm. Uh, Dexter Manley, who's also a friend of mine, he's won the Super Bowl twice for the Washington Redskins. Wow. And, and here I have cool. McGrady's jersey again, Scola, Steve Francis, Artes, James Battier, Ariza. And the, the craziest part about it is this particular jersey is Steve Francis. And so when a jersey or a pair of shoes are have been on them when they were playing ball, it's called game worn. So this mm. is a game worn jersey that Steve Francis, every time he finished a game, he took his jersey off and threw it to somebody, which by the way, he got fined, if I'm not mistaken, $25,000 every time he gave wow. a jersey away. And I have a few more collections as we go down the hall here into my uh, kitchen area. I have bobbleheads. Oh. Every basketball is oh. autographed. Um, I even, this is a pretty serious bobblehead right here of myself. Oh. I don't know. Does that look like me? Yes. Probably not. But. And so I have bobbleheads. I have everything on quiet. Everything mm. is autographed. And... And, and it, by the way, it's it all for sale. Everything is for stick. sale here. Yeah. And then we over here, we have more basketballs from the women's basketball. We have them from the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah. We have um, balls from the championship with the Rockets, Rudy T. Mm. So we have an array of um, sports memorabilia here. But I do have one special piece that I need to show you. Okay. And I have one fake signature. Fake signature. One fake <laughs> signature. Out of all my autographs, <laughs> remember the movie with Tom Hanks? Oh, the horrible movie. Wilson, he was deserted. He, he was in a plane crash with FedEx oh. and on a deserted island. And I didn't have that, so I got the ball. I found this, this um, volleyball with his fingerprint like the movie. Yeah. And I autographed that one myself. Oh. That's my own little, but everything else I have here is absolutely. It's a real. It, this one is the most real one because it belongs to you. Because I signed it, right? Yes, you said, yes. Pretty cool. Wow. Look at this. And then this is Yao. Yeah. I even have some pictures I can show you. This is pretty, pretty cool of Yao Ming. Mm. When Yao was visiting me in my lake house, so this was a fun, exciting time to be able to spend with Yao Ming. Mm -hmm. um, this is when yeah, I was yeah, in. This is when I was in China with him. Oh, okay. Hong Lijin. There's Andy Yao, my mutual friend, and introduced him to me. Okay. This is reaching, looking out at his apartment. Oh. I'm actually laying in his chair right here, which is oversized. I don't mm -hmm. fit on it very well. So he came to, we were spinning, this is his wife, mm. and our friend Andy's wife. Mm. This is him sitting on a couch. Now yeah. mind you, 
No one can sit on this couch and be seen from the back, <laughs> except for Yao Ming. <laughs> and so he's over at the house, and we're all eating, and it's a rough day out there. And but lo and behold, they're both sitting and we're standing. Mm. So to give you a little bit of an idea, he's a big boy. Yeah. But he's a good guy. I like Yao, and I hadn't seen him in a while, and I'd love to get mm. back in touch with him again one day. Wow. You really, you have an amazing life. Um, it's it's a, a yeah. very open life, a, yeah. very, a lot of excitement usually. Yeah. Before I talk to you, I only know you are successful, really smart business people. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, right now I know you really much enjoy life. Well, I appreciate that. I love compliments and people yeah. that are being positive. Mm. So that's nice to hear. And I certainly appreciate you wanting to do the interview. Mm. I hope that I get a copy of it, that's for sure. Mm. And I guess I'll have to start tuning in to see your show. Mm. Okay. It is translated into English, right? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I can say some uh, Mandarin for our audience. Perfect. Yeah. I, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Xie xie. I, my, my best word I ever learned was my don. Mm. When I'm sitting at a table, my don over there and point to <laughs> let somebody else my pay dad, for the my bill. Dad, my dad, my dad is my pay. That's the, the best bill. part, giving it to somebody else to pay. Yeah. Today I'm very happy. Ah, today I interviewed the this Philippine king. Because you all know that selling Philippines is actually a thing. Ah, it sounds like this company may not be able to pay for the bill. But today I saw Danny's business. Ah, behind the car, 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 挂车就有几十台，然后在这个 office 的 location， 他就有四十多个员工，并且今天呢，我和他一起，他带领我参观了他的 museum， y o u are um celebrity， and 他的这个 museum 里面有我们的好朋友姚明，并且他和姚明一起在上海，在姚明的家里做客。Also， 在节目的最后呢 ，I hope your business getting better and better. Thank you so much for that. We all need it right now. Yeah. After COVID-19, it's time for the world to get back together. Okay. 啊，最后呢，我也希望丹尼斯的这个。You got my address right. Yeah. Six seven seven five Bingo Road. Yeah, yeah. Seven seven zero nine two. That's six seven seven five Bingo Road, Houston, Texas. Yeah. Seven one three eight six two five five eight eight. Our website is www.cdscrapmetal.com,、mm. and by all means, please friend us on our Facebook, CD Scrap Metal. Hmm. 好，非常感谢今天 Dennis 来做客我的节目。如果你也有这个 Scrap Metal 的这个需求，想要买或者是卖呢，也可以联系我们的 Dennis. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. You got Thank it. Thank you for joining me today. No problem. I had a great time. Yeah, me too. This is today's Zi Tian Fang Tan Lu. We'll see you next time.